So it's time to meet Avalark and head through to the other world. Hopefully he uh, he knows what he's doing. I'm going to fast travel back to Novigrad. And I think we're fast approaching the end of the main storyline. I finished all the uh, other side quests, all the contracts. Not much more to do, except um, defeat the uh, the final boss, I guess. And uh, then later on I'll be uh, continuing on the story with uh, Blood and Wine, which is in Toussaint. And apparently that takes place a few years after the main story. So let's finish off this one. Uh, see what else we need to do. Let's fast travel to the Hierarch Square. This is the bookstore. I haven't been in here for a while. I think I can sell off some of my books as well, but I won't bother doing that right now. I just hung the laundry. Damn. I wanted to wear the duvets. Many thanks to you, Geralt. Okay. I know this house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. Is this where the portal is? Going down? The passage is here, past this wall. Oh. There it is, there. Okay. Are you coming, Avalak? This is the place. Once we enter, there'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. Why am I carrying too much stuff now? 86 of 160. Oh, it's just the environment, I think. Oh no, it's okay. Where are we? Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, we must go. Some of the architecture looks similar. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before, were there any people or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea. Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. I'm trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so, in fact, than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop.
Ah, the portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. Okay. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. Going somewhere else? Check out this place. I wanted to check my sword after that battle. Down to 78% already. Let's go and use uh, one of those. Find the next passage. Looks like we're quite a quite a way up here as well, so I don't want to fall off the edge. Ow. Oops. <laughs> Geralt isn't the most nimble when he's walking downstairs. There it is. All the way over there, huh? Um... Vapors don't look terribly inviting. <laughs> Oops. Let's not go that way then. Gotta hold my breath. Oh, girl. No, no, no. Oh, gosh. There it is. Okay, that's the next portal over there. Vapors don't look terribly inviting. <laughs> Suffocated. <coughs> okay, it's not too bad. Get over there, though. Medallion's humming. Huh. Of power. It's nice. gotta be. Probably have a few ability points to spend as well. So I should have a look at my character screen. Um, how many points do I have? Oh, just one point. Okay. Igni Intensity, I guess it's worth doing that. I do use Igni fairly often, so let's just uh, let's just buff that up by one. Now I wonder if Ard can remove this poison. <coughs> uh oh. Should avoid those clouds, or bolt through them. Trying to bolt through them. <coughs> okay. Portal. Is there anything else here? Okay, let's just give it a second so I can save the game. 
Hold. Ah, oh, let me guess. Igni is going to work here. There we go. Use Quen just in case I get attacked by some. I'll freeze to death if I don't hide somewhere. And I gotta find that next passage quick. If I can just find cover along the way, I should make it to the passage. X marks the spot. Okay, what's the next? Let's make a run for it. Oh! Uh, the Igni helps then. Uh, sorry, the Quen helps, not the Igni. Seem to grab the loot. Oh, there we go. Not really much here. So we're we heading over to that lighthouse. Make a run for it down here. Oh no, no! <laughs> That's much further than I expected. like this. Someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. The snow was up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing. Oh. Okay, I'm still gonna have to make a dash for it, it seems. the wild hunt. I like that stuff. Oh gosh. Wrong button there. That was freezing out there. Alright, the Quen helps a little bit. Let's make a dash. Too far away. Uh, 
No. Uh -oh. Okay, where's this uh, lighthouse now? Is it in this direction? Uh, but it is down below. Can I slide down? Oh, it's over there. I th can probably make a dash for it. Let's go and use, uh, use Quen. Should be fine. There we go. Took you a while? Did you run into trouble? Uh, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eridan's projection here. Before that, Siri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Siri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridan start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? <sighs> what would it have changed? Light on the peak. Was that you? I thought it might aid your passage. After all, that is what lighthouses do. Show the way. I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. Going after Gels is proving quite a trek. But I still don't know why he's so important. Eredin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dara, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eridan succumbed to his knowledge of the Apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace, Gel's headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than you. I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. 
be a deer and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crivana, Spain, at Coman Maca and the Witcher of Riviera. Kepin. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Grievan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Didn't come here for tea. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here, quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. So far? Perhaps. I think that even among the NL Elves, there are those capable of being decent. Naivety is a fool's blessing. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Tired of your pseudo-sophisticated courtesy. Let's go. Where to, if I might ask? to the world of the Enche. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. Be a neuromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? and proclaim Avalach our new king. You'll do what you want. If you decide to continue serving the regicide, so be it. Wouldn't even be surprised. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not?
You must face him on your terms. In this world. In a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalok knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let girls go too easily. Can never be too careful. Agreed. Yet I do believe girls will keep his word. Withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the Lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Couldn't help it. We were curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Of course. Lead the way. We'll start with the bits. Who are we going to visit? You'll see. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. Wrong direction. Horson's headquartered on Temple Isle. So I thought. But I think we should check something first. Zoltan claims the word in town is we're more likely to run into Horson around here. Okay. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? Don't know. Depends what I see. Well, let's just follow along and see what she's up to. Get out of here. Not what I thought I'd find. Jr. wasn't a pious man, but there came a moment when he prayed to all the gods at once for his life. Since the gods disliked Jr., they granted his prayer. Years later, he had just one regret, that at the moment in question, he hadn't surrendered to death, for he had had the courage then to do so, courage he would never have again. Wonder what happened to him. We'll soon find out. Who? Who's there? Remember me? You. You can. You little ass fucked whore. You. You pay for what you did to me. I'd watch your words if I were you. 
Witcher! It's all your fault. Happy, you cocksucker. I've naught left. Not a bloody scrap. Human dignity left. Ow! Little shit! On the way here, I didn't know what I'd do. Killing him was definitely an option. Still want to? No. This is worse. Let's go. We've done the hardest part. Only the pleasant bits left now. Where are we going? The Golden Sturgeon. A girl who works there helped me. Okay. Lead the way. This girl we're going to see. Who is she again? Friend of Dandelions. Her name's B. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. I will wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. Chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Yugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S -s sorry <sighs> Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. <gasps> that Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh my, it's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning? Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our Witcher. I will. So long. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. You're terrible. what I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. 
Triss and I never met, because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another happiness wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valda. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. Where's this friend of yours? Hmm. There! Baldo! Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. We'd have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so not to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. Hmm. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Has been a while since I've raced. Hopefully I don't screw this Geralt, one up. Choose one of these. Coming, coming. Come on. You were faster once! Giving you a head start! You're trailing. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. <laughs> Seems you've slowed. Just want to admire you from the side. Can still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We have several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know, perhaps it's not my concern, but I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So. Was it like, you know, when the wish lost its hold? What did you feel? Hmm. Well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... and felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be, at long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. 
Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Something worrying you now? <sighs> what awaits us? Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. It granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses, but we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Um. Looks like Siri wants to have a bit of fun. Sure. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! I must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Agar, keep a lookout. Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. Which way are we going? This way. Okay. See where Siri is going. I do want to save the game here in case this goes wrong. Can we get in? Locked. Gotta find another way in. <laughs> Carol's wearing a bandana. Um, those windows open? I suppose he can climb up. No. Hmm. Eternal fire protects us. Gives monsters the shits. Uh, 
Okay, uh, I don't think this building's connected. I can't get up to the roof. We will need to try to get in another way. Ah, here we go. This might work. Come on, Gelt. Ah. Okay. He's sleeping. That's more than a few horses. Woohoo! We did it! Excellent work! Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. The things he does for Siri. Anyway, they've got the horses. Meet Yennefer and the Lodge of Sorcerers at Dandelion's Inn. Is there a fast travel sign here? Oh, it's not too far away anyway. Ah, who's yeah, the best look at now? This one. Yolo was a magician, an illusionist. He would always perform in a mask. His choice act was soaring. Ah, uh, there's fast travel there, but it's not... Ah, oh, let's just use the fast travel. Save me a little bit of time. I serve the eternal fire! Should have stayed in the forest with my unit. So I better save the game here because we are going to be dealing with the Lodge of Sorceresses. Alright, where's the end? Dandelion. Ah, uh, she's upstairs. Geralt. What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. You'll be fine. Got nothing to be afraid of. Just go. Listen to what they have to say. And if they try to force me into something? Can't believe you'd ever let them. Margarita's only ever cared about your education. Doubt she'll try to drag you into politics. Philip is tougher, plays a mean game but ultimately respects those who hold to their views. If she makes you an offer, and you firmly turn it down, she'll respect that. Thanks, Geralt. Well, go. Don't give him any more time to strategize. Not going with her? Can't hold her hand if they're going to take her seriously. True. 
Good decision. Relax, she'll be fine. Rita won't hurt her, but Philippa, she can be ruthless. Ciri's been in tougher situations and come out of them all right. True. We managed to instill some principles, skills that have helped. Exactly. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Of course. I'll just have a peek. Don't spy on her. You really have that little faith. I don't trust Philippa and Rita. So why do you even allow this meeting to happen? For the same reason you did. If they're to respect her, she can't be seen to be hanging on to my apron strings. What do you see? Philippa pontificating. Siri pacing wall to wall. She stopped. She's saying something. Philippa's turned pale. What now? Quiet. Here she comes. So? You were eavesdropping? Yes. No. Oh, you haven't changed a bit. Tell us what you talked about. I'd rather not. Not yet, at least. Of course. When you're ready. Take a walk. Get some air. We need to sail to Skellige. Avalok's waiting at the port. Of course. I'll be there soon. Just wanted to... Go meet Avalok. He wished to see you, apparently. Okay, meet Avalok on the ship. I wonder what's happening if I go in. Nah, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go see Avalok. Oop, oh, Geralt. He still hasn't figured out these stairs. Right, so I guess it's at the port. Great docks over there. Oh, well, I suppose this is it. Once we sail over to Skellige, uh, perform the, uh, the sun, sun, moon ritual or something. Uh, that will summon Eredin. Help protect Ciri from the wild hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What of Fringilla? That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. Hmm. Take it the Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. <coughs> okay, let's go. Let's well, finish this off. Margarita. Philippa. Yennefer. Oh, you make a fine sailor. Until you can set in. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away.
Well, that settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor Please. will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Um... Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages? Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Flea? Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillion. Yet she spurned him. Ahem. <laughs> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillion a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillion's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven once. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. I'm off. Good luck. Okay. Your Imperial Majesty, allow me to remind you that our arrangement encompassed all the sorceresses wishing to take part in the risky endeavor whose success is so vital to us. I find it hard to believe that, that in the current situation, when I have already succeeded in gathering so many members of the Lodge, you would refuse to allow Fringilla Vicio to join our company. I understand there are personal factors that make you reluctant to part with your subject, but I assure you our interests are aligned in those matters as well. I promise that I will uphold the conditions of our arrangement despite the fact that they will demand sacrifices of me and will leave me in an unfortunate situation. 
I therefore request politely, yet with great insistence, that you release Frangilla with all due respect, Yennefer. Okay. Battle preparations. Let's take a quick look at the journal and... Oops, that's the map. Let's take a quick look at the journal and see what we have. Sneak onto the Empress flagship under cover of darkness and ask Crack where Ermion is. Okay, let's do that one first. It's 3.40 in the morning, so we do need to wait till night time. Anything more we can say to Avalak? Yes, Geralt. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I... Brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. Charming world you and have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute? Painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers. And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. So long. Okay, I wanted to talk to Triss as well. Yes, Geralt? Your earring, am I right? Wait a second. Yes. Lost it years ago. Where did you find it? Kaer Morin. In a bed. You know the one. Ah, yes. The good old days. I ever tell you you're beautiful when you blush? Mm-hmm. Back then, like I said, the good old days. All my favorite earrings. I can wear them again now that I have both. Thanks, Gerald. You, uh, holding up all right? Uh, it'll be a hard slog for everyone. You know what I mean. Oh, she's wearing the earrings as well. I mean, I knew you and Yennefer you'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. I guess so. I just don't want you to... Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Right. Understood. Hmm. That was a uh, tough choice, actually. So long, Triss. Anyway, let's uh, see, how Yen is, see how Yen is doing. Geralt.
So, feel any different after our encounter with the Jin? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Um, I have actually asked her about this before. Thanks, Yan. See you later. I thought there might be some new dialogue options there. Siri? Got a minute? Of course. Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's... nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalach claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Hmm. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. So why'd you return? <sighs> it was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere once it's over. Someplace picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala, or maybe Dolblathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve do not disturb into the room door, and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Sounds like a plan. I should go. All right, we'll talk later. Okay, so we've got a couple of quests. We need to um, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop speak to the druid and uh, somehow get on the Nilfgaardian fleet, which is somewhere out there in the ocean, I suppose. So we'll do that next time. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you again soon for more Witcher 3.